chat. When in doubt, jund them out. So we've got Vivictus Asmadi here. 6-6 six, six, flyer for 6. That says, when it attacks for each player, choose a permanent that player controls. They sacrifice those permanents. Each player who sacrificed a permanent this way reveals the top card of the library and puts it onto the battlefield if it's a permanent card. So you kind of chaos warp people's, your opponent, one of your opponent's things every time you attack with this. We just get good jund kind of mid-rangey pseudo rampy stuff. We've got quality top end tier and Daragaz and Vornclicks and Chandras and Dreadhordes. Another good quality five drops that are a little bit aggressively slanted with some dragons and some sarkins. So let's go ahead and dive on into some games with this and see how it goes. Uh, I have not built any decks other than what you saw on the deck building stream, the stream last week. If you look, if you look at the stream queue, there's like a dozen decks in there already. So until we play all of the decks we'd already built, I am not intending to work on other things. So if people donate or submit other things they'd like to see, I'll definitely entertain those. But I personally am not working on other ideas until, until after, until after we get through what I already have put together. P-dubs. Thanks for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Love to draw land here. And maybe I should have taken our free mulligan on this. Our hand doesn't really have a curve, huh? And our commander doesn't help with that. But I'm playing a control deck. Oh, you don't think this matchup's winnable? All right, I'll just concede. Oh yeah, their deck is just like mono steal our stuff, right? I actually imported a variation of that deck and I looked at the cards it was playing and it just like didn't seem like it was gonna generate good games. So I bailed. Target dummy for the gods. Thank you for the year and a half. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Well, so I actually think Xanthar as a commander seems sweet. The problem is the way a lot of people are building it is they're just building it so it's just mono steal your stuff decks. I don't think those effects generate very good or interesting games in in one on one commander. That's why it's why I've shied away from putting cards like Agent of Treachery and Mass Manipulation into the decks that I'm playing. I think the the games those cards generate are pretty awful. If Xanthar lives, he's brutal. I mean, most commanders, if they live, take over and win the game in this format. It's like I had I had someone comment on the Zakama video. They're like, Jeff, how is Zakama different from Ugin if you untap with Zakama for a turn or two, you win the game? And it's like, well, Zakama dies to a removal spell in response to its entry play trigger, so it offers counterplay, whereas Ugin only has counterplay if they have a counter spell. Do adventure cards count as instance of sorcery in the grave? They do not. Adventure cards are creatures everywhere except when they're on the stack. Um, take our free mulligan here. The shepherd doesn't help us ramp. They're not playing counter spells, so its flavor text is useless. We have crucible with nothing to go with it. Now the delirium cards probably aren't going to be very good in historic. 
At, the, at a bare minimum, they're not going to be good like they're good in in uh, in modern. We're gonna do this and then just fetch a swamp with the evolving wilds here. Try and wait to play the Magda till after we have the Sentinel so it can generate a thing right away for us. We can go, if they don't kill the Sentinel, we can go Magda into Phoenix of the Ash next turn. Hey, thanks for the half a year, Ashton. And target dummy for the gods. Thank you for the year and a half. Thanks to whoever just checked out the Marvel promo. Appreciate you. Our mid-range deck wasn't very good in the best of one format, she twos, believe it or not. Yes, yeah, it only only takes about five minutes to give me a do me a do me a flavor and check out the Marvel promo. Game's very reasonable too. We're gonna be playing it for a bit on stream at the end of tomorrow's stream. But the promo to install it helped me hit the goal will be running all week. And the, the bonus stream will be on Friday, or Saturday, if we hit the goal by the end of Friday. Alright, so we can kill Kaya here at least, and then we can drop our Dargan. And I think I want to play this as a land this turn, so that way... um. If this dies, we have eight queued up to be able to replay this right away. <laughs> Play tip ball, but I'll still have tip ball next turn, right? Rather, rather encourage them to use the removal spell on this to start. Target a permanent I control. Target permanent I don't control. Hey, right, hit me, dealer. Yeah, it's used on it's used on each player stuff every turn. Why those basics? Because they were the default basics. That imported when I when I imported the deck list. You can a pain. Two best words in the English language chat. Default. T-Balt. <laughs> 404, opponent not found. Um... Double black card, no black mana in sight, so double red card with only one red source. You can take a free mulligan here. Yeah, this is much better. We lead on the Kazan do mammoth tap tier. So we play Bugbear on two here. We have Sarkin on three off the command tower. 
he said before remembering that Thalia was coming into play. My favorite standard deck of all time, uh, probably Teamer Flash from Innistrad RTR standard. I think we just go ahead and drop this. Because even if they're ready to plow next turn, it's going to take two of their mana. And it'll gain me six. So it basically time walks their attack when they plow this. And then next turn I can attack with this plus play this and work our way up to eight mana for this again. Yeah, the, the climb deck just wasn't very good from a competitive perspective. Deck at a fairly low power level. Come to me. Come to me. Don't end symmetrical Thalia doing work here for us, keeping Bosri Cat off the table. If they want to kill my circuit in combat here, they lose both their creatures. is pretty decent for us. Might demands power. Might demands power. We need to get rid of this, right? I am I am a hungry boy, chip. Didn't that one looking for a land to drop the uh the asthma die out here? Dally is definitely one I want to try. She seems real good against a lot of the things people are doing in this format. Having her disruption guaranteed on too. Nothing left but dust. Feels like we're done here. I'm gonna get to make a second dragon next turn with Sarkin. Oh yeah, they're also just dead on. They're dead. They're dead to our removal spell, right? We plus. We plus Sarkin. Yeah, I'm just do this and then attack for fifteen. Zer, thank you for the twenty-seven months. Welcome back. A new Thalia card possible in the Innistrad sets. I mean, anything's possible. Her character hasn't been deleted from the lore, as far as I'm aware. I will say it's sweet that we're like four or five commander matches in this morning and we've played against a different deck every time still. This format has had a pretty deep range in it that I've been enjoying. Yeah, it sounds fine, right? Turn Timber Symbiosis is a green source. We'll get to go that into Gilded Goose here. Uh, we got a Thalia card in the Eldrazi set. We had three mana Thalia. Heretic Cathar. I don't know. I don't know from a Vorthos perspective what happened, but she definitely had a card in that set, which is 
about all you could really ask for. Make a food with this one. If you ever checked out the Marvel promo, appreciate you using a little bit of time to support my content. The goose, the goose is like, I will resist pecking you for a turn to hatch another egg. Unfortunately, they're going to prismatic bridge us next turn. Hey, thanks for the prime captain. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Okay, Tapland is all right for us. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Command Tower is already in this format, right? I'm pretty sure I'm playing that card. It's literally, literally in this deck, right? Command Tower is standard legal. There you go. It's in my deck. I hope it's legal, right? Big mood. So this thing floops them a permanent every turn for the rest of the game. Hey, Gold Spam's on a terrible pickup. He's got a little bit aggressive here if they flub with these hits for a little bit. Hey, thanks for the three years of support for Demi. Welcome back. Hey, right, that'll do pig. I mean, like, it was just an example of a commander-specific card, so I don't know what you want me to say to that, right? Like, so your example's already been included in the format, so the answer to your question, could they include commander cards in future arena products, the answer is a resounding yes, because they've already done that. Will they, will they potentially do the thing they've already shown us they'll do? Yes, they will potentially do that again. Any other questions? This is, this is another one, right? It's a commander specific card that's already on the platform. Well, so the mutate card was a card from a commander deck, but I would argue that card isn't a commander specific card. So that was, that was from a commander deck, but that's also not like a card that like this card is specific to the commander format. It's just like a generically fine card. Nice, Smith. It's for the seven months. Welcome back. Just finished building my 12th commander deck. My wallet asks for mercy. 24 months and 16 days in 2020 turns. Yeah, yes and no. We are we are into the year 2021 solidly. My children my children are scheduled to start school on Wednesday. I'm hoping that goes well, but I'm also prepared for it to be a train wreck. Just make some three threes here, huh? Give these reach because their commander has flying. Hey, Gazbi. Thank you for the over five years. I appreciate that. Welcome back.
We are having ourselves a bit of a dragon off here. Dragon off. It's a lot like Stroganoff. I didn't expect to be prey. So I have these as lands, and this is a mana source. So I think I grab a spell here. Yeah, if you haven't been keeping up on the YouTube channel, we played uh, Brawl five different times, five different Brawl decks last week. We also played a good bit of Brawl last time the queue was available. As always, it's a great place to keep up with my content. Everything that's worth watching is broken up and put into playlists and sorted by decks and formats there. 17 months, Tobias. Good morning. I think our mana is going to end up just being a touch too awkward this game, unfortunately. Thanks for the follow, Joseph. Yeah, my, my mana is just too bad here, right? Like, this is another tap land. It's like, I, I could do this, but then I can't do either of my fives, and at that point I'm just too far behind. You can always answer the question, has Jeff played Deck X by hitting the YouTube channel and checking the playlist for whatever format you're wondering a deck that I've played. And I'm saying that in part to get you to my YouTube channel, but also in part because present Jeff has played a lot of deck lists and he doesn't always remember everything that he's played. So, heading, heading to the source and looking, looking for what's what reality is is a good place to be. for my second color here. Probably green. Eh, I don't know. I kind of like the creature lands. Nyx Fleece Ram Heliod. Yep. Anybody else hungry? Want some ream for dinner? Keep that there. I mean, creatures are better. Creatures are better with haste as like, yeah, that's true. But like putting a bunch of mediocre cards in your deck to like make your, your commander better. I don't know, maybe because you always have your commander, it's fine, but. Like a lot of a lot of the cards you're suggesting to like play give something haste like they're pretty bad magic cards. This isn't a particularly exciting proposition to be playing them in our deck. This Archon's gonna start triggering Heliod here. in a pretty mediocre spot hoping to draw a six land next turn so we can like a braid spellbinder should have been more specific chat so we can abrade the spellbinder and then level rangers class here or i could make a food i think i just level rangers class
get that ticking up. hate that cards like this still exist. I really, like, if Magic was a digital game, there's no way they wouldn't update the templating on something like this to read the, if you have five more life than your starting total. The fact that this, like, incidentally just has double strike as a four mana card in this format, because you start with 25, is very silly. We're just, we're just in here at this point, right? Tokyo Whirlwind thinks the 21 months will come back. I will say that what is proving to be the case or feels like is the case proves a strong strong choice of vernacular is that similar to other best of one formats proactive decks definitely feel better in in brawl for sure the aggressively slanted decks the decks that ramp these uh this deck, def I think I definitely described this deck as kind of mid rangey and it's felt kind of eh in part of that. We'll happily block their 1 1 here. Alasaurus Shepard isn't doing anything. So they have five cards. This isn't drawing anything this turn, so I'll just play Brazen Outlaw here. Springer costs six. He's barely playable at four chat. Now he costs six. It's a hard, it's a hard knock life. So we'll go temple. Eat to Extinction is great. We'll go Robber this turn, and then next turn we can go Shock Land uh, the Dire here. Do we double block Valley if they attack? Yeah, probably.
think we just drop the 6-6 six, six down here and hope for no removal spell. We can have like a plow or a giant killer or deck in stone here. A few different things in mono white that uh, kill a 6-6. Six, six. Another thing too that's a good observation in this deck versus the other commander decks we've been playing is that these more expensive commanders in non-ramp shells like this feel clunky because it's hard to recast them for value, right? Like, this doesn't turn into real card advantage until I get to eight mana. Which is, uh, which is rough. Whereas, like, you know, when you have, like, a three mana commander, you get to replay it on five for extra value. Which is a big difference. Uh, you can check, like, the Wine app, DB, for updated or current, hey, has anybody tried this on, on Linux? Bluefire is usually the best place to look. Yep. So, this is a one-for-one one here. They're trading God's Willing for a 2-2, which I think is a fine exchange for us. Let's see some panic in the streets. Those go here, those go there. Okay, so if they can't push the Dom rated die, if we draw an untapped land, we can Asma die with haste next turn, thanks to the riot gained off of his mana. Hey, Karwan, thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. That's correct. I said if we draw land, we can play this with haste, but I think that's the out at this point, is being able to do that. Skeletal, skeletal swarming. Still looking super mediocre here. I'm not, I'm not convinced that this is a playable card in any format. No double green for the Vivian. The mana has been really brutal in this archetype too so far. Missing, missing a lot of colors. Lands have come into play tapped a lot. We've not, not been particularly successful at being able to play on curve so far this set. Uh, sure. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just dead at this point, right? Like, I can I can shoot this and get Domri back, but it doesn't do anything. I can block one thing, I'm taking seven, I just don't have any blockers. It's like, these types of cards that, like, don't really impact the board to turn you play them feel pretty bad. Let's make, let's make some genius to this. Push, push a couple of things around. Alright, so Skeletal Swarming seems mediocre. Honestly, God Eternal Ruinous seems pretty mediocre. 
I want cards that are more individually powerful and impact the board an okay amount the turn they come down. Got the Journey to Eternity for the same reason. Crucible of Worlds has just been poop every time we've drawn it. Like, we have a couple of okay things with it, but for the most part, doesn't do a whole lot. We're at 30. Oh, that could be why we don't have enough colors, too. We just don't have enough lands. Damn it, pass, Jeff. Yeah, people, put more lands in your Brawl decks, chat. Stop sending me 34 land Brawl decks. I get I get that there's these four, so we're like 38, but that's still barely enough. Like, we're trying to cast a six mana spell here. At a at a minimum, we want 40 to 41. Fine. That's 30, that's 39. 30, 39 is still super low. Double check what utility lands we got here. Hey, thanks to whoever just checked out the Marvel promo. Appreciate you. But I got land 36 for a sweet seven drop. Yup. Honestly, Castle Garenberg seems pretty good, right? Can ramp to this after it's died. Canyon Slough is a cycle land. Filtered Thicket's a cycle land. Get your utility lands, Chet. Utility lands are very good. Play them. Put a Field of the Dead in your three-color deck. All right, so I guess it's a 38 plus, plus 5, 43. That's probably more in line. 43 land sounds much better for trying to cast a six mana thing. Robert the Rich on the play on turn two. Sounds good. Split basics with snow for field. If I'm being honest, that's a reason to cut field of the dead. It's pretty good. Have I played much Marvel Strike Force before this? About an hour before I agreed to the promo for it. Actual gameplay seems very reasonable. Graphics are good. They give you Spider Man to start as your first tier, and I'm a sucker for Spider Man shit. I think we probably go tapped land on one here into untapped land so we can play a two drop on two. As much as I want to adventurous impulse on one, if I brick on an untapped land with it, I'll be very sad. Oh, I guess this was untapped off of this. Forgot we had a dragon in hand. <laughs> nice buttons. Do we just like get Chandra going? I think so, huh? Light him up. We're on fire! Oh, this has haste. 
Yikes. I should pay more attention. I guess we deal six to them at least, but... Might as well lose on my part. Okay, so let's impulse, stick for lands. And we can innkeeper into Magda. Hey, thanks to whoever completed the Marvel tutorial. I appreciate you. I guess we're taking 10. Next turn, I can kick Verdix if I wanted. Would I rather kick Verdix or play as Madi? Actually kind of close. I can't kick Verdicts, right? Am I sure? This is seven. Wait, right? Four, five, six, seven. Why is it saying I can't cast this? Oh, I don't have the treasure. I can't use the treasure off of Yarsh Yasharn. I was like, it's telling me I don't have seven mana for some reason. That's why I figured it out. Angry Land, thanks for the 26 months. Welcome back. And Johnny Boy, thanks for the brand new prank. There's a ton of great people you could drop those Bezo bucks off with everyone here on Twitch. Thanks for sending them this way this month. They haven't slumber mounted us. They must want to get to a more expensive play here. That card not powerful enough for historic. I don't know. Do you think a five mana three four is powerful enough for historic? Yes, the boar is, it can't sacrifice non-land permanence. So it still lets Fabled Passage and stuff like that work. And graph. Yeah, this looks fine. We draw an untapped red in our first two draws. We've turned two Domri. Hey, thanks for the entire year of support, Eridaz. Welcome back. 
Nailed it. Never didn't have it. Oh. I think we're supposed to trade here. Yes. Fires means you just pay the commander tax on your card. Is correct. I think we keep that. I've got like four, five, six pieces of mana already in a roundabouts way. This card leave you. Why why is Dark Ritual legal? Like I don't I don't mind counter spells or swords to plowshares or I don't even really want it in my deck. Cause like if I'm being honest, like I kinda just wanna concede. Like, it just, it's it's kind of like Soul Ring in that it just doesn't generate good or interesting games. I, I guess. Oh, I should have played this tapped, right? It's not, I guess it's not as offensive as Soul Ring because it's only a one shot, but like, it's pretty offensive. I think you'd probably leave that one out for the same reason I'm leaving Ugin out. Yeah. You know, hope you had fun with your Dark Ritual. give this one one more try here I think but I think I'm about ready to be done with it it definitely feels like it falls solidly into that that the classification that we have of decks and lots of other formats over the years where our deck is neither of appropriately proactive in order to feel competitive and our deck doesn't feel reactive enough to be keep up with the things that are being proactive against us I guess we do this and get our forest on one so we can play Drew to the Cowl on two. Our tap land's looking pretty clunky again. Vivian Reed will be nice. We get to drop her next turn. Edge, just uh, another game where we just don't have, can't really do anything. 
to the 50 months, Rabner. Welcome back. Okay. So do we murder the Cosmos Elixir now here? Or do we just like get Chandra down and start stacking emblems on them? I kind of like the idea of Chandra first, start putting emblems on them. Because emblems in a way negate the Cosmos Elixir. Yeah, and, and now I can Vivian shoot the Faith's Fetters on my Chandra. I guess assuming she resolves, they could have a counterspell here. Definitely big, big control deck energy on the other side of the board. more reliable than human. This is nothing. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm? I think I'm just leaving Paradise Druid back. I don't really want to attack. Nah, nah, I want to attack. I say I don't want to attack for two and then lose it, but hitting for two here means that these Chandra emblems put them to 25, which means they have to gain life another way or Cosmos Elixir won't draw them a card. They also could just kill Druid anyways with Blast Zone going to two, so. Might as well jam here. Yikes. Oh, this is only instant or sorceries. I was thinking there's another one that does artifacts and enchantments, right? No one knows the wilds like I do. Oh, it does do artifacts, it doesn't do enchantments. Got it. And I think I'm into a land here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just murder this. Sphinx. Is the best way to destroy things. We're actually not doing terrible here. Even if they have like a sweeper for my creatures, I still have my planeswalkers going. We're one one Chandra emblem away from doing more damage in the Cosmos Elixir can gain, and Vivian's ready to shoot something else this turn. Yeah, not super surprised to see Wrath happen. We could see them play their commander here. Yeah. Do this before we decide to do a Chandra. Oh, I guess Chandra can only do one thing, right? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's 
Grinch's pirates could probably be sweet. There's probably enough pirates in three colors to get something sensible. We'll see you. At least that's the only one. Mobile subs don't give notifications. You have to share, share your resub, Valley. So when you sub, sub to a channel for the second month, it gives you a chance to send a message with your resub. I don't remember exactly how that appears on mobile, but there should be something that lets you send the notification through. Thanks for, thanks for re-upping. If you'll, if you'll note, it also didn't appear in chat, in addition to not having an alert on screen yet. Right on schedule. You need to slow down. I'm a survivor. No. Tefri told Chandra to tuck off. And then Yorian's gonna get to reset Tefri here. Opponent's probably dead to these emblems. I mean, not really. They have Skyclave Cleric with... They have Skyclave Cleric with this, and they have a Cosmos Elixir as well. So I'd, I'd wager we're actually pretty far behind at the moment. Hey, thanks for the 18 months, country. Good morning and welcome back. Yeah, like there's still a 20 here, Jeff. I can't kick that because our mana continues to be awkward. If I want to plus Vivian, I have to plus pass the Chandra. Four looks and no additional black source. Feels bad, man. I guess, I guess we'll take the Den of the Bugbear. Hey, they just have infinite mana. They get to keep doing this, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're dead. Hey, you got this, Captain Command. Thanks for the 39 months. Good morning. Hypnos, thanks for the 21 months. Yeah. Hey, here you go. Glad you got it to work. Sometimes sometimes you have to reload the app or refresh it or something. Glad you got it sorted, Val Valari. Yeah. Yes, this one felt rough. I think just to have a concise wrap at the end, I feel like this really solidly fell into the category of not proactive enough to run down controlling decks and not reactive enough to keep itself alive against and not reactive enough to keep itself alive against the things going under us. It felt like honestly we just struggled against everything. We couldn't we couldn't get under control decks and we couldn't be big enough or interactive enough to not die to the aggro decks. We just kind of waffled in this awkward this awkward spot in the middle. And honestly. I, I feel like, I feel like I want to never play like six plus mana commanders without a lot of ramp in my deck. I feel like if my commander costs more than five, my deck needs to have a glut of ramp spells so I can leverage them appropriately. It just like... So many of these games that we played, we just never had good windows to play our commander out and it was just awkward because of that. All right. Let's let, let's let you all pick.